Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs here, and I'm going to be doing a bit of a, uh, like a thoughts video on this TX-130 Saber Tank, aka the Republic Fighter Tank, officially named by LEGO, but it's, in lore name is the Saber Tank, and why I think it's overheated, um, and it's really underrated, actually. I, I've, I've been thinking about this, vi this, um, video for a while, and I just honestly am tired of people hating on this set because it is actually really good. And I'm going to be explaining why all in the set. So this set is set um, 75182, uh, the Republic Fighter Tank, comes with 305 pieces, and yeah, it says it's ages 8 to 14, I don't believe they're doing that type of thing anymore. But yeah, so I'm just going to uh, roll out the tank here. Um, here, this was a creative way to do it, that you've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, it got some nice box art, I, I like the box art, uh, maybe because I'm just deprived of clone box art. But yeah, anyway, here is the set, I've had it for a long time, you will see it in a lot of my videos because it is in my clone base. I also just want to point out, it says Battle Droid, and Battle Droid, <laughs> like no difference, it's just Battle Droid and Battle Droid. Now before we get into the rest of this uh, discussion video, I want to you to get a word from our sponsor, One Stud One. Are you tired of your tiny ATRTs? Are you tired of your plain, boring juggernauts? Well, fear no more, because I have a solution for you. One Stud One makes some of the most amazing tanks and gunships and all the other things in the galaxy and it's at a pretty affordable price because you know look, look at this gunship price this is like the average gunship price what is that is that like a ridiculous price around three hundred dollars what what is the average juggernaut going for what okay that's insane but seriously if you guys want to check out him for the custom juggernauts not this Crap! If you want to check out him for the custom LAATs, I, I don't have an LAAT to drop. But then fear no more. Check him out, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Thank you for listening to that. Now, while you were gone, um, we got some stuff. Now, first he has the long, wrong legs. Let me go get those. Here is the f plane <laughs> with the right legs. Now, the plane. Phase two clone trooper gunner. Now, this was one of the only two phase two clone troopers. Um, released in the last five years, as of now, um, the, including Commander Gree, um, which uh, uh, Kashyyyk Trooper doesn't really count. But yeah, he came with an angry clone head. That is not an angry clone head. Um, but yeah, um, this was obviously a huge draw for this set. Um, a lot of people got a few of it for just for this guy because he was a cool thing. It was a nice little clone that we got to get. And yeah. Now moving on from him, um, we have another very... Um, well-liked figure, and this is in the form of Ala Sakura. Now, it has great leg printing, it has a, even has belt printing, which is a rarity. Um, I like the way they do the different arm colors, that was just a really unique on Lego's part. Um, I think a dual uh, molded arm would have been good here. Um, I don't, I'm not, I can't think what she looks like off the top of my head. But yeah, and then here is uh, her other face, and this is just a great looking figure. It's much better than that ugly Clone Wars one we got. I actually sold that when I was like, nine and for like three bucks for like three or four bucks which was a total stupid on my part I, I did a stupid i did a big dumb um but yeah this is a very nice figure i like it a lot it's going for about 15 now and this guy's probably going for about like 10 i was able to get a few for three which was great now we also get of course the timeless beautiful b1 battle droids there is nothing wrong with them they have existed for this long because they are perfection I'm just kidding, I might talk about them in another time. But let's get to the main beef of the set in what I think is the most overhated Lego set. Next to, like, some, like, the most overhated that doesn't deserve it Lego set. Like, obviously, like, the Cloud City, um, not Cloud City, um, the Hoth set, obviously that deserved it. This didn't deserve it. Now, here's why. You go back to see the old set. And they're of the Saber Tank, aka, I'm just going to call it Saber Tank, because that's what they called it in an Empire at War series, so I'm calling it Saber Tank. Um, but you go back and you see the Saber Tank old set, and it was huge. It was friggin' massive. Um, it, was, it was, like, too big. Um, and 
it, this is I reason I think I like this one so much is completely in within proportions. Um, it is perfectly minifigure scale. Um, the only thing I think I have a slight problem with it is that you can't fit two figures in it, which I think you're supposed to. I'm not sure if that's in lore or whatever, but um, yeah. So it is completely size accurate. So anyone who's like, oh, it's too small, it isn't. They're, you're just used to, you're just stuck in your old ways, and you're used to the uh, old set being huge. And it was like a lot more. And this one, I believe, was 25 bucks. I don't know what the last price was. I think my only like slight complaint with this would be stud shooters, but that goes for every set. And also, yeah. It, it just is a... I, I like this hit a lot. First, it comes with this little little area to hold the studs for the stud shooters. I get a lot of studs in there. And you could also take out that piece and make it into a gonk droid, which is a beautiful. Um, also, um, I, I just want to point out some, like, the nice little details before we get into, like, the rest of, like, the just discussing the Kate. Um, I like how it uses these uh, sword pieces. Now, this is a thing that was only on Captain Hook um, in the Disney CMF series. So putting it on this was a very nice inclusion and very welcome. Um, looking on the interior, there are two ways that your clone can sit. Um, if you'd see that, there is a little like control area. Um, oh god, I, I, I just kicked it out. That's no bueno. Um, but yeah, you see that there's a little area he could sit all the way down in. And then technically you could fit two clones in here if you squeeze it. Um, you'd squeeze it in, but there's that guy. And then let's get Iwa Sakura. Um, Jedi and Master, Not a, maybe she's Master, I don't know. And the, technically they could pop out. But yeah, so he could do that, or he could also pull out, and if he, like, you know, the tank broke down, but he wants to get some cover, he could, you know, sit here and take his Clone Army Customs friend's gun that he had to steal his legs from, and, you know, fire. Um, let, let's get that gun in. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, and in the box art, it depicts him doing that, but not shooting. He just kind of pops his head out. Hello, guys. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. I like the way they can, like, be like, okay, uh, come out, George. Okay, and he could, like, do that full without, like, taking his hands off. Great for stop motion, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think a another thing I'd probably have a slight issue with is these stickers. Like, I think this could have been done without stickers specifically. Um, I get the Republic symbol. Um, yeah. And I also love the way this does, like, this whole thing. I mean, it doesn't do that in lore, I don't think. I don't know. I only play Battlefront. And, yeah. And also, it is a beautiful place to put either a gun or a lightsaber. Ka-chow. Um, yeah, uh, mainly a gun, because a lightsaber would look a bit absurd um, right in that position. But we could have a little uh, a pew-pew. Uh, is that going to be a new channel meme? Pew-pew? We're going to have the pew-pews? It's like a church. It's a pew-pew. Um, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I think also it was sort of a missed opportunity to have, uh, spring-loaded shooters here. Um, not a huge deal. And I think that the biggest flaw of this entire set, like, at any of it, um, is this one green bar. Like, they could have used maroon, they could have used black, any other color. Like, they could have even just used another piece if they really had to use green. They were really on a crunch. Just put it right here. Wouldn't have been a big deal. But this one green, just from this angle, and... As long as you're not looking at it from this, if you're looking at it from this angle, it just looks awful. Like, li like it would have been absolutely perfect if they used this gray. Like, anything. I, I was even considered, like, you know, maybe I should go in there and, you know, take out the take, take out the green and just replace it with a gray. Because that's how much I was just like, oh, it was on the verge of greatness. It, it was this close. Um, but yeah, so that was my general thoughts on this set. I want to hear what you guys have to think, because I think this was honestly one of the most overhated sets, and it didn't deserve it, because it was completely within proportion. It was a great price. You get these two amazing figures, and uh, obviously two beautiful figures that are, they're, they're no rarity, but they're, they're pretty darn beautiful. Um, and yeah, and these two figures now go at a great value, like I think this guy goes for 10 this guy goes, this, uh, Ayla goes for 15 so you're looking at a cool $25, which is what the set was worth. So if you see this set, like, just the set, like, without the figures, for sale, for, like, at least, for maybe, like, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, I'd absolutely get that. Um, sealed, it might be worth it. Um, I like the box art a lot. Um, this was the Rogue One wave back in 2017 in the winter wave. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I get it sealed. Like, just make sure it's in good condition or whatever. Um, and, yeah. So, and also it has, like, nice little wheels, so it, it, it works pretty well, and it's completely proportioned, so if you want it for your clone bases, or your clone armies, 
it is a fine addition to your collection. Now, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, to press all the other buttons, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.